All right, everyone. I had to call myself down before recording this because we have some really exciting news about the Nintendo Switch 2. And we, I, I say it's news. Obviously, we're talking more about rumors here. Nintendo has not officially announced anything, and we're not even getting into leaks. Like our last video on Nintendo Switch 2 that dealt with the 60 watt charger and the fan in the dock, that was all from shipping document information, fact based information that comes from, you know, the shipping stuff. This is not from like fact based information. This does come, however, from PH Brazil or otherwise known as Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa. He is a Brazilian reporter who, yes, he's legitimately in the video game industry and was at the forefront of reporting things on the Nintendo Switch 2 earlier this year, including the delay to quarter one of next year. He was the lead reporter on that. He got corroborated by Eurogamer and Video Game Chronicle and all the rest. Uh, all the major outlets have come in at this point to corroborate those reports. And the nice thing is that if you think about it, as sad as that is, he's been consistently saying that as far as he's aware, the plan is to launch Nintendo Switch 2 in March of 2025. Now again, these are all just rumors and they're unverified and there isn't anything else we could say about it. But he decided on a recent podcast episode to actually give additional details about when to expect the Nintendo Switch 2 to get announced and more. And this is just really exciting stuff because he's essentially hinting that Nintendo has moved up the timetable a little bit, which that is something that maybe we didn't expect. Like for people going, man, the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming in holiday of 2025. Well, that ain't happening, at least according to what we're going to see here. Now, he does speak Portuguese. He's Brazilian. I don't know Portuguese. I did use some translation tools to try to, like, double confirm this information. And I did reach out to him to comment and try to get, like, hey, because he does speak English. I did reach out privately and say, hey, uh, can you confirm these translations? Uh, at the time of making this video, he hasn't gotten back to me. That's okay. Uh, if he does get back to me, maybe we'll have an update on this on a live stream or in a future video. But until then, we actually have an independent person who did translations. Plus, you have me trying to verify those translations with, you know, captions and running it through translation software. And it all seems to be lining up as far as I could tell. So without further ado, uh, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all things Switch 2. And let's get into this information. Uh, we're over here on Family Boards from this uh, person named Garana. I don't know. I'm probably butchering how to pronounce it. But a wild Pokemon. Sorry. A while good news appears. According to our own Brazil, again, this is the same person we were talking about, the journalist who broke the news about the 2025-2 Switch release, Nintendo seems to have brought forward some plans regarding the Switch 2's release schedule. Some presentations, he doesn't specify which ones, that were scheduled for the end of September seem to have been brought forward to the next couple of weeks. So they've been brought forward to... August. He also says that the current podcast should be one of the last before news about Switch 2 really starts to pop up. And to give you an idea, the last episode before this one, which was yesterday, well, folks, was eight days before. And they seemingly do it every seven to eight days. Sometimes there's a bit of a longer gap, but it's about every seven to eight days that they put up a podcast or essentially one per week. Now, if you think about uh, one of the last ones before Switch 2 really starts to pop up, uh, when you think about that just for a moment, that's to suggest sometime in the next week we could start to hear some Switch 2 news. Now, Switch 2 news in his case would be reports and rumors. They don't necessarily mean that Nintendo's about to not announce Switch 2 right now, but it gets a little more exciting. He also adds, and this does seem to be his personal opinion, that Switch 2's release schedule will follow more or less the same route as what we saw with Switch 1. Remember, Switch 1 was announced, you know, well, technically Switch 1 had a weirder announcement cycle. Well, we talked about just when they revealed it. They revealed it in October, and then they did a January blowout and launched it in March. That was how Nintendo did it. He's, he's saying it'll be similar, but then he also said, hey, they're brought forward the Switch 2 plans, which means if they were planning to like reveal it at the end of September, maybe the reveal is coming in the next couple of weeks. And there could be some reasons for all of this. Uh, obviously, we have Gamescom coming up where maybe third parties want to be talking about their Nintendo Switch 2 projects. But we also have Tokyo Game Show coming up a month after that, towards the end of September. And that, again, could be a place where a lot of partners want to be talking about Switch 2 stuff. And thus, Nintendo might want to actually have the system revealed so they can freely talk about that stuff. Here's what's clear. Something Nintendo, at least according to him, that was supposed to be at the end of September has been moved forward. We know that he recently reported, at least on family boards, that there will be an indie world next month. But whatever was happening next month is happening this month. Uh, and what is that? Well, 
Look, a Nintendo Direct usually happens in September. Let's just be clear. There could be a Nintendo Direct right here in August. And we already actually talked about him sort of hinting at the possibility of a Direct being this month. And he's just doubling down on that thing. But could the Switch 2 be revealed in that Direct? That is the question. Like, is he talking about, hey, before the next show, there should be like Switch 2 news going on, is he actually not talking about rumors and reports? He's talking about legitimate Nintendo's about to announce the system. This, to me, sounds like an imminent announcement of the Nintendo Switch 2. I could be wrong. Of course, this is rumors. But holy shnikes, are we talking about Switch 2 actually getting revealed this month and saying that Nintendo actually was going to do it at the end of September, but they've decided, no, 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 we're going to actually do it here in August, and it's going to happen before his next episode? Now, again, he doesn't clarify that that's, he, he, it's not exactly what he's saying, right? If we go back to what he said, according to this, it says, according to Brazil, the journalist who brought the 2025 Switch 2 release, Nintendo seems to have brought forward some plans regarding the Switch 2's release schedule. Some presentations, and he doesn't specify which ones, that were scheduled for the end of September seem to have been brought forward to the next couple of weeks. That means to August. He also says that the current podcast link below should be one of the last before news about the Switch 2 really starts to pop up. So uh, now he says one of the last, to be clear, one of the last could mean like this episode next week naturally might not be revealed yet, but you know, one of the last, one of the last. So the reveal seems pretty imminent. It's either August or September, right? August or September. Now, one of the last could mean a lot of things. It could be, you know, a couple episodes. It could be five episodes. You know, they got 36. So they don't have, like, a ton of episodes. I mean, you can see here, they have, they have a number here, number 36. This this is the guy, by the way. Uh, 36. So they have 36 episodes. Uh, so one of the last, you know, you figure, well, less than 36, right? So, you know, does that mean this is... The last episode, or is there a couple more? Or is there five more? You know, it's all subjective on what that actually means. But I, look, the Nintendo Direct, whatever they were going to do in September, whatever event it is, has been like moved up to August, according to him. Again, this is all just rumors. And I, I want to be completely fair. Rumors are not meant to be believed. They're meant to be doubted. But I can't help it because I know this person is a fairly legit journalist, and I know they wouldn't put this information out there if it wasn't something they had heard before. Now, they have gotten some things wrong before. Uh, dates have moved on him before, and that's why he doesn't like talking about dates. But for some reason, he's doing it this year. He wasn't really, he, he stopped doing this years ago, and now he's back to doing it. And I think I know why he's come back to start putting like dates on things and, and pushing things around. He's excited for Switch 2. And he, he's like me. He's like so many of us where we can't help but be really excited for this platform. Like everything we hear about it just sounds so fantastic from the 12 gigabytes of RAM to the possibility of a fan in the dock to the 256 gigabytes of, of the UHS 3.1 memory uh, all the way to the T239 and the possibility of 4K and DLSS to the possibility of all these major third-party companies so Square Enix and Capcom and Ubisoft and... Activision and everyone else supporting the platform, Microsoft supporting the platform, from what we're hearing about a possible 3D Mario launch game to what could be in year one. We could have Mario Kart. We could have something from Monolith Soft. We could have, who knows, an infinite amount of possibilities. Metroid Prime 4 could end up being, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond could end up being a cross-gen game and just look utterly amazing on Switch 2. There are so many possibilities for this platform. It's really exciting. So I, I put it out on Twitter while I, right before I recorded this. Said, "Hey, you know what? I can't help it. This news to me is like opening a present you really wanted on Christmas morning." Oh my God! Giddy. And here's the thing, Nintendo hasn't even announced it yet, because I don't even know if Nintendo's going to pre-announce the Switch 2. They might literally just drop the damn thing on the internet without warning. Like, that's the crazy thing. 
Or it could be in the Direct. If the next Nintendo Direct does not have the words, there will be no news about the Switch successor in this Direct. If, the, if that wording does not exist when they advertise the next Direct, you know the expectations are going to be that Switch 2 is in that damn Direct. So, oh man, I'm just... Guys, I'm getting pumped, baby. Look, 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 look. It's exciting no matter what. Let's put it this way. The Switch 2 is either revealed this month or next month. That seems to be what's being said right now, which is crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, no later than October, obviously. But it, assuming these rumors are correct, if you really trust this person, and I happen to trust them, man, bare minimum, we're less than three months from reveal. Less than three months from reveal. If he is to be believed, we are less than three months at the longest. Now, if you want to just believe Nintendo, it's seven months. Right? They said March, March of 2025. So seven months. Bare minimum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. All right. All right. Let's calm down. I have Nintendo Robo Jets from Nintendo Prime. Again, could all just be wrong. <laughs> Things could move around. But we'll see. If Nintendo has a direct or something later this month, that's already like, check. Because he's the only person saying that some sort of Nintendo event's happening in the next two weeks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.